The North is pretending over reality. And because of the pretense of the northern part of the country, that is the reason why the Biafra restoration is taking place. You can't tell me you are a northerner and you are the one who decide what happened in Nigeria. You control the Senate with fake numbers and fake uh, constituencies. The Biafra flag is flying, the spirit is flowing everywhere. Is possessed. I told you that one day Nigerians will become Biafra. Nigerians, I, 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 I think it was on this channel I said it, you know, uh, that one day Nigerians themselves will become Biafra. The signal that is coming from, you know, the uh, 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 antenna from the satellite is telling you the, we should start preparing for the day is what coming. And the day is coming. What does that mean? It's trying to tell you that the due day is coming. What does it mean? When you look at the uh, cloud, the atmosphere, you foresee, oh, it's going to be sunny today. It's going to be rainy today. You will be able to project or to say or to, uh, you know, forecast that this is likely what is going to happen and this is like what is going to happen. The North is pretending over reality and because of the pretense of the northern part of the country, that is the reason why the Biafra restoration is taking place. The North refused to realize the truth. The political North refused to understand that what it takes to be a Nigerian does not end in the northern part of the country. Everybody is involved. You can't tell me you are a northerner and you are the one who decide what happened in Nigeria. You control the Senate with fake numbers and fake uh, constituencies. And you think other people are other people are fools. Well, if they have realized that, thank God they said they will not allow regionalism. Well, it will have been a stepping stone to push further. They will not allow the structuring. It will have been a stepping stone to put for the, uh, push further. But now, after all said and done. They came out and said, it is high time we share this common truth. And what is the common truth? Nigeria cannot survive the Biafran agitation. I repeat, Nigeria will not survive Biafran agitation. I can repeat, Nigeria will not survive Biafran agitation. Why do you say so? It has come to be. It took them time. There were so many options that was laid on the table. Please don't let me remind you, he did not push a man unnecessarily to the wall and expect the man to bow his head in shame. No matter how stupid that man is, one day a day will come where his head will rise. They have pushed Ibo to a particular the option of national negotiation and unity was supposed to take place in 2023 presidential election but unfortunately the Yoruba man became a problem by coming out to steal cunningly take what belongs to Igbo man and they are looking at that Igbo men should come out and put up a ball, a fight. No, sit down. They are watching. Have your bus never failed? Has the government not fed roughly? Has it not become an embarrassment to the whole world? Now, let me tell you, I said it severally. Anybody that is carrying injustice must face injustice. What they are doing to Nam Kano is injustice. The consequences of it, that, what they are doing to Nam Kano is break up. So, some, some elites from the north who are learned, who are well civilized, who are educated, who are open minded, who are truthful, who are sincere, has come out to tell them that prepare, bacchanization is coming. How is it going to come? They already foresaw it. The present generation of the victims of 1976. The children of the oppressed has risen and are asking questions. Nigeria could not even provide the answer, even when there was dialogue. They could not say, Come, I said, Come, like what God said, Come, let us reason together. 
they could not even say it. They were pretending. Everybody was just pretending because the crude oil, the resources, the North is not contributing anything. The North has 419 local governments. The South have 375 local governments. The, the Northwest, the Northeast, the North Central, all of them are in the Senate. They are doing not contribute 0.0% 0, 0. 0 in the national resource in income of this country. In the revenue of this country, they don't contribute anything. Still, they take 58% of national income. Bros, who takes that? The Eurobars are the ones causing this problem. They are the ones taking the shades. They are the ones not analyzing their political structure in the South West. They are the ones the Northerners are using to destroy the concept that bond the Northern and Southern protectorate under Lord Lugard. We must understand. That is the truth. Today they came out and said they are going to uh, 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 London to tender a document. They, they, they want their own separate nation. Are you not seeing the twist in it? No, read the twist in it. Maybe you understand the consequences of that transformation is not what they are actually pushing for. The North is prepared. They have enjoyed crude oil wealth, built their roads, developed the North, did all manner of things, transferred the whole world to the North and the South West. There is no federal government infrastructure. The Igbos are struggling in hunger. The Igbos are struggling to survive. The Igbos have been struggling immediately after the war with just 20 pounds. No Igbo presidency. No Igbo chief of staff. No Igbo anything. Don't give them. Don't, don't give them a support. But have you seen that kind of wickedness anywhere in the world? Then they are prepared now. And they are calling the consequences. And they are calling the shot. They are saying to hell. I mean, very clearly, they are not hiding it. Even your child that you have in your house, you don't beat your child anyhow. He will react. The Northerners are reacting to corrupt activities and consequences of Nigerian leadership. That's why they told you that Nigeria is about to do what? Break up. How the break up? Because somebody has risen. Somebody has alerted the world. Let me, let me, let me use this opportunity to uh, talk to Antonio Guterres himself, the, the Secretary General of the United Nations. I pray that you understand very clearly on the need for us to move from where we are now to another point. And what to the another point is to embrace civility, is to embrace humanity, is to create an, another, another, another atmosphere where the world will understand the need of globalization, the need for peace, the need for uh, uh, sustainability, the need to avoid conflict, the need to attend to conflict resolutions. But these are the things that, what, the reason why the United Nations was established. Antonio Guterres, you are quiet. A British citizen, Mazin Namdekano, is there. The UN is not saying anything. Human rights abuse everywhere. The, the Igbos are being killed by, 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 by Nigerian military in the east. The United Nations is not saying anything. There is so much crisis everywhere. The United Nations is not saying anything. Why is it that Antonio Guterres is not active? Uh, is, is the United Nations being run by extremists? Why are you seeing this kind of... Okay, you want us to get to a point that they will start using gun. Then you start sending the United Nations peacekeeping force. Is that what you are looking for? Why not at this point, it has not escalated, be able to come in and able to address this issue? Once and for all. That is the reason why we have United Nations. But thank God that if there is no way, the God of heaven and earth will make a way. They thought that Nigeria that will not succeed. But you can see the, 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 the success so far recorded globally.
solidarity is coming. Embassies are beginning to shut down in Nigeria because they are having a check. Uh, they, are, they are having a, 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 an integration, you know, um, a, a brief of what is going to come at the end of the day. And that is why, if all these things are happening, the Northerners are saying, even the Northern governors, the Boko Haram has taken most of the part in the North. They are controlling the, the, the market. They are controlling states now. They are controlling local government in the North. Are the governors, Northern governors, are they not there? But they are looking the right way because what they want is to dip their tunnel inside the crude and be smiling to the bank at the detriment of the Niger Delta people. That is the reason why Biafra agitation that has become a spirit will never and can never be put backward. They are moving forward. They are going forward. They are advancing. They are getting to places. They are alerting the world and the world is taking note. And based on those intelligence reports, that's why you saw the Northerners are beginning to see, you know, where do we go? Even though from behind, the wish it never happened so that the Igbo man will continue to suffer. To breed and feed Boko Haram for them. That will never happen again. What is their contribution? Nothing. Ibo man works every 24 hours every day, do all manner of things, and they knew in class here, you're a northerner, you don't have anything to offer, you're not going to bring anything to the table, then I just should continue to exist. Let these people be careful. It's too much. So you are encouraging Nigeria to exist, continue to exit because you sit down in your house, you own your AC, you cross your leg and born 200 children at the same time. No problem. Because the woman is there as your slave, working out everything for you. Today, they are saying, enough! It's enough. Just like what Israel is doing today, what Israel is saying today, enough! It's enough. And they have told the United Nations, you know, to take a particular stand, to define themselves properly, and know that at this point, that Israel as a nation is not backing down. It represents civility, it represents a free world, it represents another movement that will transform Middle East. And anybody that goes contrary to that will have his herself become a serious threat to the global peace and sustainability of the entire world. Which like, university they want to be? Which university? On whose money? Tribu money or whose money? They tend to be that university. The university we have in Nigeria, have they maintained it? Have they paid the lecturers their salaries? University to learn language in the name of in the name of Tribu. Tribu language, Tribu University. Then they will they will siphon the money they went and borrow and build it there. Call it Trimbu University. Before before Trimbu will come down, he will turn it around and privatize it. It will become his own. Eh? They will use the taxpayers' money in Nigeria, build the university, and name it Tulumbu. Then before Tulumbu will come out, they will pass a bill and turn already marginalized. South 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 is already marginalized. If you say it's still been in Nigeria, then they will say Fulani language and Yoruba language is compulsory. Hmm. These two tribes are the ones that hold Nigerian confusion. Okay, we've seen the House of Rep. They've come out and said that um, they are proposing to build a university, the Tunibu University, a um, university where you know Nigerians of all tribes and um, sex age we come and learn different tribes and different languages do you think this is what you should be, you should be doing you know why not invest or build a university where we can learn technology it you know because we've seen we know the future the future um is diving towards um information and technology and at the same time what can you say as regards only of ife you know um you know um, um building a statue a golden statue for Remit Numu, she said that she has helped a lot of youth and opened doors for youth in Nigeria. What can you say as regards this? Um, who's a demon? I mean, um, Reb, 
If we get this inception, mm. if we go your so place, they will build the university. Once you born the Piki, we see say sometimes in the name of uh, let me say to Lumbu University, what they saw when our level begins. Which university they want to do? Which university on whose money? Tulumbu money on whose money? They tend to be that university. The university we have in Nigeria, have they maintained it? Have they paid the lecturers their salaries? Is it the, is it the university? Is it the university that Tulumbu want to mortgage that they want to build another one in his stone? Which which one he, he wants? Uh, he is not the one that planning to mortgage Nigeria universities. Eh? And they want to build okay, who build that, that, that university? Is it federal? Or which state will be that university in the name of Tulumbu? Which state? Univers university to do what? University to learn language. Learn German language or Russian language. Or uh, 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 Jewish language. Or Arabic language. Or Japanese Chinese language. Which one? Or Ukraine language. Is it the, the place they will learn a Finland language? Which language they want us to learn? You do not teach language from primary school. It's the university you want to teach language. From primary school, from family, children learn their language. From primary to secondary, you do not put um, syllabus or make a space we have vernacular language will be learned from primary school now i want to jump to university have you seen any child that did not run and start running and say i will go and run for olympic eh? which language in nigeria you, you you will learn you will learn general language so every child in nigeria must surely learn all the whole vernacular language in nigeria you see this is the plan of the west yoruba and the flag Remember there's a time, I think last year or early this year, when the Labour State Governor government said that before you attend the university or receive the exam in Lagos State, you must surely know how to read the Labour language and write the Labour language. Remember, it happened so. But now, if they do it, the Igbos are already marginalized. South South are already marginalized. If you still it's still been in Nigeria, then they will say full and language. And Yoruba language is compulsory. Hmm. These two tribes are the ones that hold Nigeria in confusion. Fulani and Yoruba, they are holding Nigeria in confusion today. They will say Fulani language and Yoruba language, it must surely be compulsory to learn. Okay, who sponsored this bill? Which man sponsored this bill from the red? Who is the person that sponsored you? Do you know the name of the person? Tell me the name of the person if you know. Moderator. Who sponsored this bill? I think he says it's the House of Rep. House of Rep. Who is the House deputy, of Rep? The deputy um, House of Rep um, and, and eight others. You no, know, the deputy, the deputy um, speaker. The deputy House of Rep. Look at the type of bill Ibuma will sponsor. Look at the type of bill. Uh, Carlo is your, your, your person. Carlo, Benjamin Carlo. Eh? He is the one. That, 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 uh, 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 who elected him, by the way. Uh, if, if I am the consequence he came from, I would have right to, to withdraw him. He, is he not the one that to open the mouth that was full of maggot last time and to say, uh, 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 someone was not in control of, of, of the Afra land? It's uh, the governors. Look at the bill. The bill who call himself evil man. He says claiming that he's help sense. Look at the bill he's sponsoring. He did not sponsor the bill to withdraw Nigerian army from checkpoint in the Biafra land. He did not withdraw, withdraw the bill to he did not sponsor the bill for, for government to withdraw Nigerian army and let them see if, if there's no peace in Biafra land, South 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 East, whatever you call it. He did not sponsor that bill. He does not sponsor, he does not rise up to, to speak out for the release of Nam Dekalo. He does not sponsor that one. Eh? 
It's not so the modernization of Igbos in Nigeria, Easterners, both South and Southeast. It's not so the modernization is okay. What is sponsoring? University to learn language in the name of in the name of Tulumbu. Tulumbu language, Tulumbu University. Then they will they will siphon the money they went and borrow and build it there. Call it Tulumbu University. Before before Tulumbu will come down. If we turn it around and privatize it, it will become its own. Eh? They will use the taxpayers' money in Nigeria, build the university, and name it Tulumbu. Then before Tulumbu will come out, they will pass a bill and turn it. It becomes Tulumbu Personal University. Look at the bill. People money sponsoring. Maybe some 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 little change have entered his hand. He come out to sponsor that bill. He did not sponsor the bill that all the whole federal roads in South and South East are neglected. He did not sponsor bill against the erosion sweeping South and South East off. off. He did not sponsor that bill. He did not sponsor the bill for government to build a university of technology, science and technology, where people will, will go and learn. He's sponsoring the bill for language. Look at it, language. The, the one we are speaking before. The one we are speaking before. Why, why, why is it not like an IT information tech information technology course or a university where you can go and learn IT or media, you know, um, courses? Why, why, why languages? Why language? I don't know the language in, in school. I haven't the language in sec from secondary school. So why, you know, building a special university for Tunumbu or they call it Tunumbu University, a federal university for just languages? Is that not? And again, so I'm coming to one social media say that um um even the um asu might even be going on another strike they've not been able to settle or pay the lecture on, on ground and they are talking about bidding and will this, will this not cause more problem for the for the federal government of nigeria see, what I'm, i have said before the university in nigeria already have you maintained them mm. the only university you will see that uh, look like uh, it's a university it's a private universities and private university before your child to go there you go sell, you go sell, you go sell all you have. Even your grave, you are, when they will bury you, you will sell it. Before your, 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 your child will enter private university that looks like university in Nigeria. And the, the owners of the universities, that private university in Nigeria, they are free education, they went in their own time. Free education, they went in their own time. The one did not end, go free education in their own time. And the ones in those, those universities, most of them were owned by churches. And the people that you take their tight and offering to build that university, the poor people, their children are not coming there because of the high cost. That on Tribu will not see it. People sponsor out of university will not see it. Uh, Benjamin Kalu will not see it. You want to build, add the, add the pepper upon injury. You want to put iron rod on the fire and place it on injury as a plaster. That's what you want to do. Okay. If you build that university in the name of Tulumbu and the other federal universities and state universities, they are not paid well and the, the lecturers are going to strike. So if you build that one with the people that will go there, will they follow to go strike also or will they have a special treatment? Well, the lecturer and students there have, a special, have a, a, a special treatment than other lecturers in government universities. That's what I want to know. Or uh, if you build that university, is it in that university? I don't want to learn languages in that university. Is it in that university that, that will be they will revise, modify, or amend the school curriculum in Nigeria to bring back history to school? Bring back history to school. Is it in that university they will start to do it? So when, when they build that university finish, they will go research in language. That's what they will do. You see the you see the type of project Nigerian government always handle and their sponsor as we are sponsoring it. Benjamin Kano did not see the constitution, the suicide constitution. He did not see the suicide constitution of 1999. He did not see the the the, the, the ethnic cleansing constitution of 1999. He did not see the genocide. 1993 constitution to sponsor a bill to amend it to be to be good. You did not see that. 
Eh? I am not saying you should sponsor a bill for Biafra Respondent. I know, I know that it's not a Biafra, it's Nigeria. But all this is concerning the entire, entire Nigeria. Why can't you sponsor them? Any of them? Eh? He's sponsoring language university. Okay, we will call it after building it, they call it Tulumbu Linguistic University. I think so. Pre uh, President or uh, 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 Bola Ahmed uh, Tulumbu Linguistic University. I think that that, that, that what they will call it. I have I helped them to, to give to give it name. They can go and build. I have authorized them. They, let them go and build. As you guys only of if a building statue for Bella to um, um, um Bella's um Raven Tunumbu, she he said um she, she has helped a lot of youth and um you know part uh, made um create job opportunities for a lot of youth in the country. Uh, oh well um as a as a traditional ruler only of FIFA have right to honor whomsoever you want to honor. You have right to give title to whomsoever you want to give title. Whether that person is good or bad, you have right of that one. I cannot deny him that one. And I cannot contest that one with him. That is own judicial, uh, uh, I mean, authority. But in the other hand, as he said, we have helped uh, open road for youth and uh, give employment. Where is that employment? That is, uh, I do not understand. Maybe, maybe somebody, maybe somebody will come and appoint to us, the youth, how many youth have helped? Mm. At least paid their school fees for one year. Mm. How many youth at least paid their school fees? The me have paid their school fees for one year. You come and tell us how many pure water company, least pure water company that is open for youth. Mm. So if you cannot build the uh, elephant uh, elephant factory, uh, at least pure water company Daniel. factory, you have employed youth to come there and work. You have shown you, give us, show us, even poetry. Let her, she have open poetry. Whether on, on his name or the name of the Lagos State government or federal government and the employ people there to work. Which work have been? And the people are suffering. The, 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 the people are roaming about, the youth are roaming about without any work. Which work have done? Which road you have, you have opened? How many widows have he helped? How many orphans have he helped? I did pick up. How many people have got their help? Eh? I'm not after honoring him, but what is his achievement? What is his achievement? Oh, because he is a, a, a first lady. Anyway, uh, only of people. I'm not uh, disputing his authority with him. I have authority to honor whosoever I want to honor. But as, as I have said, but uh, I have uh, personally, I don't see the achievement. And moreover, honoring somebody or immortalizing somebody doesn't mean the achievement of that person. Made. It means it means how you dish out, uh, how we dish out.